All right, example four, investigate. So we have the limit of the function f of x, f of x sine pi divided by x as x approaches zero. All right, so this is gonna be an interesting problem. So we plug in numbers into our given function. So I'm just gonna give you some of the numbers. So that's how you plug in one into this. What does it give us? So you know what happens when sine sine is pi. And trigonometry will give us zero. Alright, so so it gives us this assumption that this is going to equal zero. But as, if you see the graph over here, it definitely is not giving us zero. And so let's say we're approaching zero, right? Let's say we give it another number. Let's say we give, let's, I don't know, 0 0.1. That's going to give us sine 10 pi. And so we know that if this is anything to do with pi right here, you know our trigonometric functions and stuff. So we know that this is going to give us 0. So. And let's just say we started playing fractions like this, 2 over 5. And so something like this you might want to plug in your calculator, you know? But let's say you did 2 over 5. That ends up giving us 1. So I want you to take note of that that this gives us 1. And so now it, it doesn't appear as if our given limit approaching 0 looks like it's approaching 1. But then I plug in this next number. I say 2 over 103. You know, because for the sake of showing you big numbers. Then what do I get? Well, if you haven't plugged it into your calculator already, you'll be able to see negative 1. Right? So if you plug that into your calculator, you'll be able to tell that's negative 1. And so there's some something that's happening. The values of sine pi divided by x is oscillating between 1 and negative 1. And so if you look at our graph over here, so this is why the graph looks all weird. It's because what's happening is that these numbers are changing by just a little bit, and they're going 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1. So they're going back and forth. And since the values of this given function do not approach a fixed number, as x approaches 0, then we have to say that the limit of this function, f of x, sine pi of x as x approaches 0, and you guys could guess it, does not exist. Right? Because there's no fixed destination. 